Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat Wagwan. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for being here. Now, I want to first start this video by saying I will be splitting episodes three and four into two separate videos, right? I know I did one and two, one video, but three and four will be in two separate videos. All right. Also, I want to let you guys know that I do have vlogs on my channel as well. So if you want to get to know me better and get more familiar with my personality, please feel free to go back on my channel and watch some of those. All right. Thank you guys. I don't have a lot to say. I know last episode we left off and Penelope was really upset with Colin, which was episode two. Now we're about to get into episode three, which is called Forces of Nature. I cannot wait to see what else they're going to do with this season. I feel like I need way more Penelope and Colin together. Hopefully they do give me more of that coming up. So let's just get into it. Oh my gosh, is this a dream? <laughs> is it a dream? <laughs> oh my gosh, it is. And it's a dream. <laughs> And it's Colin's dream. I like the fact that it's Colin's dream and not Penelope's because I feel like she's been dreaming over him all her life. And now finally it's his turn to have those feelings about her. Was it on she knows she's not allowed to read it? <laughs> was it, was it I like how his siblings tease him about every single thing. It's not worth your time. Let us. We get a lot of scenes with Lady Danbury and the Queen. Um, hmm. I would like to see Lady Danbury the Queen and Lady Violet in more scenes, uh, more like scenes. Who is this unwanted visitor that Lady Danbury keeps talking about? Who is it? Is it somebody that the Queen would know or something? Who is it? Ah, uh, poor Pen. Miss Penelope has a visitor. <laughs> Who is it? Eloise. Oh, it's Eloise. I noticed you've not been seen in society for some time. Isn't that they're going to be friends again? I really want Penelope and Eloise to be friends. It's quite harsh what she wrote about you. I feel so bad for Penelope. I really want her and Eloise to be friends again. And I feel like Eloise is just hurt. But deep down, she still loves Pen. And she's not just going to let things just go like that with her best friend. Are you joking? No way. It's good to see you. Yes, this is. It's good to see you as well. I would like them to just let Penelope's hair down. I prefer her hair down. And I apologize for not... Colin! <laughs> Is he gonna tell Penelope how he feels? He needs to. We cannot continue our lessons. Yeah, these lessons cannot continue. He looks disappointed though that the lessons cannot continue. He's not as like upbeat like Penelope. I feel like Penelope's more like, you know what happened? Let's just leave it alone. This is over with and I can't do anything else. Whatever. You're not find a husband soon. Your father and I would be forced to find one for you. Cressida just constantly gets pushed over to a man. Like her mother is always like, go get a man. Go get a man. Help us. We need a man out of you. Are you enjoying the evening, my love? Penelope's getting embarrassed at all times. I don't like that for her, but... <sighs> Besides the fact that I'm feeling a little like, well... Pray. I like like Lord, that Lord Devlin really likes Penelope and honestly speaking if Penelope would have just given Lord Devlin a chance I feel like they would have been real good together I feel like you think of Colin when you're younger but you marry Lord Devlin hate me if you want hate me if you want fight me I don't care I don't care I don't care I don't care because he's given me energy like I know what I want and what I want is you Colin has given me he didn't know what he wanted until the other day, which is annoying to me. But still, I know. What does Selena Gomez say? The heart wants what it wants. Toxic. Okay? Toxic. I'm certain all Devlin simply sees her as yet another wounded creature in need of defense. Cressida only wants to do this whole thing because she wants the guy. She doesn't want to learn about nature or anything like that. She just cares about the man. What are they giving Tweedledee and Tweedledum to drink? Is this to help with their reproductive system? <laughs> Is to help them to have babies? Is it? Is that what they're giving them? Is this Farley? Is it Varley or Farley? <laughs> oh my gosh. Here goes Colleen stalking Penelope again. Leave her alone. If you're not going to tell her you're having dreams about her, I need you to walk away, leave our girl alone, and go do what you need to do for yourself. I am tired of this. I'm done. I 
so dreadful. Did you know they mate for life? Everyone is trying to get Lord Devlin's attention. Cressida, leave him alone. Oh, Cressida is using her head and trying to be so smart. She thinks she's so slick. <laughs> because a lady could not possibly have an interest in engineering. Who is this woman? I feel like Benedict is always dating older women. Is it that he's going to have an older woman? That's his storyline. Like he's actually going to be with an older woman. Can somebody tell me, please? There is nothing I love more than grass. <laughs> There's nothing I love more than grass. <laughs> is something going to happen with the balloon? They're focusing a lot on the wind and the balloon and all that stuff and the breeze blowing it away. What's going to happen with that? Oh my gosh! Lord Dublin saved Penelope. Let us find you a seat. Oh, Cressida is pretending that something happened to her leg. She's just so aggravating. One thing you can always count on is Bridgerton having really, really good song. Hey, maybe I don't want to the love bills to have fun tonight. I love cheap girls, baby. I don't need the love bills to have fun tonight. I don't need nobody. Colin seems like he's so stressed out tonight. All the girls are still here like, oh, they're dying over Colin. And he keeps looking for Penelope. And why don't you just go write your name on her card thingy and be like, I want to be the one to be here with you tonight. Let me write my name all over your thing. Save me a dance, Pen. Isn't it weird when you start to like someone, you start to be afraid to like express your feelings to them? Before it would have been okay. We're all friends. We're talking. Everything is good. Let's just have some fun. But the minute you start to like somebody, you're like, should I say this? Should I do this? Am I looking pretty enough? Is this cute enough? Am I nice enough? Am I not nice enough? You know, like you just have these questions in your head who is this man that's talking to lady um what's her name violet lady bridgerton is something gonna happen between them hmm oh my so this is lady danbury's brother marcus lord marcus anderson remember when lady bridgerton was saying that she she wants to get her flowers too. She's gonna bloom that flowers with him. She's gonna bloom it. I promise you guys that. I promise you. Good evening, sir. Forgive me, I was simply in need of some quiet. I'm not too sure what's happening here with Francesca and the gentleman here, but okay, I guess she wants the quiet. I and he's affording that to her. Benedict is always chasing these older women. Wasn't he with, um, what's her name? Lord Farquaad woman. What's her name? Lady Delacroix. Wasn't he with Delacroix at one point? He's, he likes older women, right? Is that what I'm getting? I am afraid I have not been honest with you. Pardon me? That grass. I do not love it. I like Penelope being very honest with Lord Devlin because you know what happens? If he likes you for who you are, you might be thinking Colin is the right pick. But at the end of the day, right now, love who loves you. And he, if he loves you and you like him right now, you never know in the future you can possibly grow to love this man. And he possibly might treat you better than Colin ever could. At the end of the day, sometimes people grow, you know, with love. Arranged marriages have happened all around the world. I'm not saying it's the best thing in the world. Absolutely not, because I wouldn't want to be in one <laughs> at all. But... If she's going to pick somebody and if she has to pick and she wants something, he seems like a great guy. Why not give it a try? Why wait on Colin for something that might never happen? Because here he is sitting down instead of coming to you and telling you how he truly feels. Down with Colin. And all Colin is doing is staring at Penelope. Hmm, and it's crazy because now his mom is realizing that he probably has feeling for feelings for Penelope. Because he gathered the courage. I think to that's ask. what Lady Bridgerton is realizing right now. Inside even the most sophisticated of us. For when all is Why is Colin looking at Penelope like that? Is he's is he gonna kiss her in front of everyone? <laughs> Wait, what is happening right here? And hold on, don't judge me, but I really like the way how Lord Devlin looks right now instead of Colin. Fight me again. Okay. 
Lord Deblin is giving me mature scrunched and you know gruffy and rough and Colin is giving me I got my baby face coming in I believe it's time for our dance what, what just happened because I can't believe it's like was Colin gonna kiss Penelope like in front of everyone you, you can't do that bro like brother you gotta calm down with that you have to calm down I don't understand this a hallucination the influence mm -mm 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 -mm. this Billie Eilish song will never go to style mm -mm -mm. listen to you I don't relate to you I could never relate to you no cause I'd never treat me this shitty you make me hate this city and I don't talk in a man never told anyone anything bad cause that embarrassing you were my everything did has made me sad don't waste the time I don't have hey Colin is losing his mind, body, and soul watching Penelope. He doesn't know what to do. He's losing himself. And I completely understand. But this is jealousy all over his face. It's so evident. And I feel like Penelope should have read that situation. But at the same time, it's like she never felt Colin really wanted her. So why would she ever, ever think that he's feeling this way because of me or what's happening is that he wants to kiss me and he doesn't know how to express it, you know, what he's feeling. I'm going back and forth with the way I feel because in, on one hand, I want Penelope to be with the guy who her heart is yearning for, which is Colin. I want her to be happy. But on the next hand, I'm like, Colin has wasted so much of our time. It's mine and hers. And I'm just tired of it. I, I don't want her to be like the last like option for him. But it's like, <sighs> I don't feel like they're not giving me like she was a he like she's a last option. I just feel like Colin was a normal man who was oblivious to everything, always oblivious to what's in front of them, and they don't realize it until it's too late. That's normally how men are. On a whole, they don't really see things right here. They're just so, you know, I don't want to call them, but they are, and and they don't use their. They use something else and to think and it's, you know, but uh, let's see what the next episode has. I feel like this episode was more of a filler episode to let you to lead up to something that's coming in the next episode. I feel like they wanted to let you know that he's yearning. He's dying. He doesn't know what to do with himself. He's besides himself for Penelope at this point. And I think he can't sleep at night. And that's what's getting to his head more than anything else. But I will see you guys in the next episode so we can see what actually is happening with Colin, if he's going to really meet the move on Penelope. I know they only gave us four episodes. I am really nervous for this one. Please give us like even a good cliffhanger or something. Don't just leave us here with some, ugh, something silly. You know, give us something good. Give me, I want more. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys in episode four. Peace. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, guys. I'm pushing out these reaction videos as fast as possible. And also remember, I do do vlogs, weekly vlogs on my channel. So take a look at that as well. Peace. Bye, guys.